friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. You're all, you are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, it is me editing Lana here. So I wanted to say that this video was actually pre-filmed a month ago. So I had picked out my TBR already and filmed it before everything really happened. So I wanted to say that I am sticking with this TBR. But I wanted to say that the books I have on this video are diverse but they do not have any black authors like i don't have any black authors on this list and i will say that's mostly because uh, i did my spring tbr when i pulled those sticks I, I didn't pull any books by black authors i do have a ton though that i still want to get to and read and everything they're sitting around my room so i decided that for june i am going to add two more books onto this list and hopefully I can get to them. I think I might even make them my priority. Um, we'll just see how, honestly, we'll see how my reading mood is because I do not even know what I'm going to be, like, feeling <laughs> for the rest of the month. So I don't know, like, just how my reading is going to be, unfortunately. But uh, the two books I'm going to add is Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett. Um, this one is about a girl who ha is HIV positive. And it's basically her kind of uh, gaining feelings for someone and I guess deciding on whether uh, she needs to be honest about her health status or not and like what that means and all this kind of stuff. It kind of dives into that. So um, I've been really wanting to get to this so I figured it was probably a good time to put it on my TBR. And then the second one I have is Color Me In by Natasha Diaz. This one is about a girl who is a uh, mixed race. She is white and black, I believe, but she is also Jewish. And so it's her trying to kind of find herself within both of her cultures and really f define herself, but also like find a way to really, I guess, embrace her culture I think like that's the wording I'm trying to find I hope that's the wording I'm trying to think of um but I'm excited to read this just because I am mixed so I would like to read something that I relate to or I could relate to so hopefully this will be that so those are the two I'm going to add I obviously have more by black authors but I already have a lot on this TBR so I want to not try and overwhelm myself since again I do not know what my reading mood is going to be like um, just with everything going on but I will say I do want to also draw attention to uh, a read along that books with Shay created called um, sorry I'm looking at my tablet because I want to make sure I say everything correctly and that you have all the information book sh book with Shay created uh, it's called blackout buddy read and it has a Twitter and on Shay's channel uh, there is a video with all the information as well and for this buddy read you will be reading uh, I think Shay chose two books to read which was a uh, white rage by Carol Anderson and I believe this is written by a, a black author. Um, I don't really know much about what this one is about. And then the other one is White Fragility, though I cannot remember who the author is for that one, but I know that one is written by a white author, and that one is about uh, why white people won't talk about race. Um, and so those are the two books that will be read for this buddy read. I did find an audiobook of White Fragility on Libro FM, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna use a credit and buy that and try and listen to it. I do not think I'm gonna get through both of those books because, yeah, but I'm gonna definitely work through White Fragility if, like, throughout this week. But I did want to draw attention to that and just encourage you to take part in it if you want 
to do something in the community if you want to like take part in something that'll bring us together if you want to learn and be educated i definitely recommend taking part in this and i will definitely link the twitter down below and uh, i'll link shay's video down below too so that way you can check it out all right this clip has gone on very long so i'm gonna go ahead and let you get to the rest of my tbr um i will say i did put twilight on my tbr i don't know if that's gonna stay or not uh i again i recognize that that is a problematic book um and all that kind of stuff i just again it's just on depending on my reading mood <laughs> i'm sorry i'm kind of repeating myself but it's just kind of my disclaimer right now for my life so yeah all right i hope you enjoy the rest of the video bye hey friends it is me alana welcome back to my channel for this video i'm going to share my june tbr for you all i picked seven books that i would like to read this month uh some of them are going to be for my summer tbr and then some of them are for other reasons um i decided i kind of wanted to jump on the secret tbr trend so i'm gonna try one of those this month but it's gonna be like a june july secret tbr so it's gonna just bleed into july because of certain circumstances with some of these books and so that is my plan um <laughs> i'm just gonna hop right in and tell you the books because i don't know what else to say so the first book i have for you is twilight uh the dust jacket is long gone. I've had these since I was in high school, so I have no idea where they went. But I will be reading both this one and New Moon in the month of June. Alright, the next book I am planning on reading is The Beautiful by Renee Audier. Um, this is going to also be a reread for me. So I'm reading this so I can get ready for The Damned that's coming out in July. Uh, I want to reread this so I can just like spruce up my mind and make it all fresh again so that way I can just hop right into the sequel and fall in love with the world again. This is my uh, original arc that I got so I'm gonna actually reread this version so that way I can like remember what I had because I don't remember but I'm sure it was all good things so I'm super excited to do that and Yay! The next book I chose was One Dark Throne by Kendara Blake. Uh, this is the second book in the Three Dark Crowns series. Um, this was from my summer TBR as well. I'm really excited to hop into this because where Three Dark Crowns left off really piqued my interest. So I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the first book. And I actually did enjoy it, uh, but I wasn't sure if I was like, gonna like it enough to continue on but then the last like two three pages of that book happened and i was like well now i'm hooked because i need to know why this thing happened and what like what is going on so uh i'm really excited to pick this up and read it when i can uh i'm definitely rooting for Catherine. she is my favorite so we'll see how that goes next book i picked was sarah normal by phoebe rivers this is a middle grade uh from what i remember of the synopsis it's about a girl who moves to a new town and she starts seeing ghosts so i don't know why like i'm not a big fan of horror books they, they just freak me out but when it comes to like ghost whisperer type books i'm like obsessed even though i'm still scared like i've watched all every season of ghost whisperer and i was scared every single episode but i still couldn't stop watching so i don't i don't know what's wrong with me but i'm excited to hop into this and see what it's about because i definitely enjoy these types of books so We'll see. All right, and the last but not least book that I chose to read this month is Waiting for Spring Volume 2. Um, this was also on my summer TBR along with Sarah Normal. I forgot to mention that earlier. I'm excited to get to this because I actually did enjoy the first volume, so I'm excited to see what happens in the second volume. I picked this because I thought it would be nice to have just a simple read for the month, especially since I'm going to be rereading three books. And I have like four, five fantasy on my stack. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I've just been like craving fantasy. So 
uh, maybe I'm evolving, maybe not, we'll see. But yeah, I thought this would just be a fun read to throw in because it's summer. But yeah, so that is my June TBR. Um, I'm really excited to film my July TBR and pick my books because it's my birthday month and so I'm hoping to make it extra special, but we'll see. But yeah, if you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, all of that jazz, please comment them down below. And if you are not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You're all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Thank you.